Hi, Eleanor. Hi, how are you? I'm doing excellent, how are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic, so happy to be in Lisbon. It's the second time in five months, I think? This is my third time since um, October, so I feel like I know at least this one little part of town quite well. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mean, I keep going back to the same few spots, so I should probably venture further. But I'm so happy, the weather's beautiful, we had great food, and uh, I feel very lucky to be here. You know I do my best thinking when I'm flying down the bridge Do you have any, I'm sorry, I don't mean to spill, <laughs> spill your drink. Have you had any particular experience in Lisbon other than do the concert? No. Do you remember I mean? No, I, I have to say, this is going to sound weird maybe, but this is my fourth time in Lisbon. I played here once with the Fiery Furnaces two years ago and uh, each time I've been lucky enough to spend time alone, just walking up and down hills, kind of slipping on the stones. And um, I've just had a really nice time alone here, even though I've been with bandmates and things like that. But the time I've spent alone has been very special to me, very um, contemplative. Each time I've been here, the weather has been perfect. So there's something special about that. And I love, I, I, I grew up in Chicago which is a completely flat place. So whenever I get to walk around a city as hilly as this, it's very special to me. It feels very foreign and exciting to me when I'm walking up and down so many hills. In Chicago, like, the wind chill factor is no myth, I've, I've heard. No, it's very cold there, yeah. <laughs> but it's the flatness that's very striking, and I can't imagine coming from a place like this, going there would be shocking in a different way. But for me, walking up and down these steep hills and seeing different parts of the city from different levels is, is really exciting and interesting and beautiful to me. I actually interviewed a real estate over there in that room. Yeah. And I remember you I were at the show. Right here, yeah. <laughs> you guys were hanging out and you were here. I remember. Yeah, yeah, back here. I just remember sitting there for a long time. We had a great night, yeah. We played at this festival in December and then yeah. that was our night off, so we had a good time. What's it like uh, touring and uh, making music without your brother? Probably you get asked this like every interview, but like, we need to know. It's um, the same and different. You know, it's not like um, now that I'm on my own, I have like my own room and things are very glamorous or, you know, it's not, you know, I'm sharing with a room with the drummer, you know, <laughs> tonight as opposed to my brother. There's something definitely different about it. I feel like playing with my brother, this sounds maybe like a negative thing, I don't mean it to be bad, but I think that being in a rock and roll band, you should feel like you're with your pals and you're in a gang and maybe you dress kind of alike. And you know, always playing with my brother, you don't have that feeling because we're brother and sister and he's my big brother. So it just, it felt like something else. It felt good, but it just, I mean, it's very protective and it's great to be around your family and stuff like that. But I think playing just with friends, you know, the guys I'm playing with are just like my pals. And um, it has a different sort of camaraderie, a different feeling that, that's kind of a little bit more fun in a way. It's been almost a year since Last Summer came out. I plan to make the sequel to Last Summer, which will not be called Next Summer or Many Summers Past or anything like that. But I haven't decided where or when I'm going to record it, but I hope to have it out early next year. Does summer always make you think of Brooklyn, mostly? Yeah. Because of the album being mostly about Brooklyn, etc. The album is yeah, definitely about New York and it's about the summer when I wrote it and about many summers past. But last summer, I, when the album came out, I didn't spend much time at home. Uh, so uh, this summer, as opposed to this summer, I will be at home all summer and I'm really looking forward to that. But the songs are mostly written, so it's, it, I don't think that will affect the album too, too much. You're one of the pivotal bang wearers of music, of, <laughs> of music uh, uh, nowadays. You mean this? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Your, your haircut. <laughs> so I'm desperate to um, have a haircut. I can't see. Really? Yeah, very long today. Are you going to keep the bangs? Sure, yeah. But I need a little trim. Maybe I'll get my hair cut tomorrow on my way out of Lisbon. Just a little trim. You're going to do it yourself? I could do it myself. I'd rather have someone else do it, though. But I do, I always travel with my scissors. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank you.